It's been a week and this Nintendo fan still hasn't been able to get his hands on an NES Classic Edition. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, I'm here to bring you three reasons why it's great that Nintendo is actually selling out of these, and three reasons why it's horrible that they're selling out of these. To give you some background information, I did go on launch day, I went on my lunch, I could almost consider myself a normal consumer now, but I'm not lining up ahead of time, I am way too busy with my life to be doing that. However, I went out on my lunch and they kind of just laughed and said, no, we sold out instantly. We only had six copies of it or 10 copies of it. So most stores were very limited in how much, how many copies they actually received of it from Nintendo. Now this is an emulator, not this one. This is the real one. But really what we're talking about is an emulator that maybe should have come out over 10 years ago. They had the technology back then, but of course it's going to be a huge hit this holiday season. Them selling out, meaning them as in Nintendo, is nothing new. They did it with the Wii, they've done it with the Amiibo, they're doing it with the NES Classic Edition, they're going to do it again. So let's get to the three reasons why this is a good thing. Essentially, them selling out allows Nintendo to sell everything that they produce, whether it's the controllers, whether it's the console itself, whether it's Amiibo or whatever, Nintendo is producing items and selling them completely, which is great for a production standpoint. You never want to lose money because you have sitting units basically in the stores. So whatever they ship, they're basically selling right now, which is fantastic for them, especially their shareholders. Reason number two, when they're selling out, this is clearly building a lot of hype for the company. It's in the news saying NES Classic Edition sells out. It doesn't really say how many it's shipped all the time, but it does say that it's sold out. And that really gets people thinking, this must be a really good emulator, a really good console. Other emulators that I see are lower quality, lower price, and I can find them in stores all the time. If this item's selling out, it means it's in demand, and a lot of other people must think it's great. And I honestly do think it's cool. You get 30 games that are a great variety for a pretty good price, around 60 US dollars to 70 US dollars. I do think it's a great price point. Now, I must mention, I don't even have all of the games, but these games are fantastic. I won't go through all of them, but you're getting Mario. You're not getting Duck Hunt, but you're getting Mario 1, you're getting Mario 2, you're getting Mario 3. Just that trilogy alone makes people really want this console. But then combined with that, you're getting all the other huge hits. So let me just go to a party game, a puzzle game, I should say. You get Dr. Mario, which is really fun for a lot of people. You also get both Zeldas in one package, that's absolutely crazy. If you were to buy all these cartridges, this would cost you an insane amount of money. And then just to go through a few of the other ones really quick, you get Super C. You also get Double Dragon 2. You get Mega Man 2, one of the best games of all time in my opinion. What a great soundtrack. Metroid, really underappreciated I think today. Ice Climber, you get Ninja Gaiden and so many more. You even get something like Kirby's Adventure that I wasn't even willing to open this one. This is actually factory sealed still. So you get a, so many great games. It's building hype. There are great games on the system. Now, not only when it sells out, but also when it's being restocked in stores, Nintendo also goes back in the news. So this is great for Nintendo. I'm hyped just even talking about these games. There's so many great games out on the system. Reason number three why this is a good thing. Nintendo can keep the cost of this console relatively high compared to other emulators that are out there. $60, $70 price point is actually low considering people are reselling these units for over $200. That's like $140 US dollars that Nintendo is missing out on their profits entirely. So Nintendo can keep the price point high. They could almost raise the price, which I don't want them to do. I do think this is a pretty good price point for the system, but they can keep the price point high. So it's three good reasons for Nintendo to keep these sold out. And I do think they'll continue to ship them in small quantities to keep selling out, to keep being in the news and all those good reasons like we talked about of selling out all their production. Now let's talk about three really bad reasons though. Reason number one for me, when a diehard fan, which I do consider myself for Nintendo, can't get its hands or his hands on the system, that's very troubling for fans. That's frustrating for me. A lot of people are saying that this thing should be on every single corner of like grocery stores or even if you go to like small toy stores, maybe they should be there as well. Not only like the big stores like Toys R Us or Walmart or Best Buy and things like that. It should be everywhere at all times. It's a great soft stocking stuffer. It's a great size for a stocking stuffer, though it's a little bit large to actually, or a little bit expensive I would think, to actually be a stocking stuffer. Those people must be really well off that stocking stuffer. Anyways, I think this is a console that should I should be able to get my hands on. If I'm actually this big of a Nintendo fan and I still can't get my hands on it, that's a bit of a problem. So that's obviously frustrating for me, but the other part of that for fans, Nintendo's missing out on brand new fans to their series. This was a great $60 price point for someone like a parent to buy for their child, to play their own childhood, and that's absolutely fantastic to get people into these games for the first time in their lives. So not only is Nintendo upsetting a diehard fan like me, they're not getting new fans 
of parents basically reliving their lives through their kids' childhood when they play these, when they play these wonderful games again. So that's my number one reason why this is bad for Nintendo. Reason number two, Nintendo is obviously missing out on sales. And like I said, they're missing out on that like $140 because it's selling for $200 through a lot of other people's hands. This is also making a lot of people upset in the entire community. I don't like resellers. I think it's a shady market. I'm not a fan of it. I understand why people are doing it, but if a lot of people wait in line and one person buys all of them, that's terrible. And if I still can't get my hands on one, that's absolutely baffling. I'm almost at the point where I might just ask for it for Christmas anyways. But they're missing out on sales, clearly. If they had them in more quantities in stores, more of them would be selling right now. Reason number three. I really do think that Nintendo is going to have some people upset at Christmas, and that's a terrible thing. It's Christmas. This console should be easy produ to produce. We're talking about technology that is quite old, actually. And Christmas is coming up, and people can't get their hands on this. I really hope Nintendo increases the quantities being shipped to stores. I really hope everyone who wants one is able to get one for Christmas. That is my expectation. It's still early. We still have over a month until Christmas. But if Nintendo's losing out on fans, really upsetting their old fans like me, they're losing out on money. I don't really understand this, and when Christmas is right around the corner, that's a really bad thing for Nintendo. It's just not good news, I think, for them to have it, especially if the people are selling it for way more, and you have to go that route. So what I would really recommend to you is be patient. Be patient like me. You can hopefully find one for the right price, whether it's actually in stores. And if you're patient like me, you might be able to figure out some cool information. Like, apparently in Canada, Shoppers Drug Mart sometimes has these things in. CJR, a fellow YouTuber, that's where he picked us up. So thank you for that tip. I will go and check at Shoppers Drug Mart. If you're in Canada, I welcome you to check out that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. What is your opinion on the NES Classic Edition? 30 great games. I do think it's a good price, but it's sold out everywhere. Really hard to get your hands on it. I would love to hear your opinion below. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't know, I'm on Instagram, so you can check me out on Instagram in the description below the video. Remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.